Three, two, one, go. All right, what's up, guys? I'm going to show you how to decimate your character. Uh, decimate here, deci UV. So decimation, it basically just uh, lowers your poly count. So all of, you know, each mesh is made up of, you know, polygons and things like that. So, for example, the head is 191K, and that's a lot. So this character is 697K, and that's a lot. It doesn't really make a difference if you're just doing it for illustration purposes. Like if I just wanted to make this and, you know, uh, just have it as a digital file or, you know, something like that. But you want to decimate, like, for example, I like to take things over into Blender now since I'm getting used to that. So it's better if the file is smaller because it will render out better. So uh, there's a lot of reasons to decimate. So let me just stop talking. So, okay, the head is 191K. There are some details. So we're going to go into decimate. And we just tap here. Still looks pretty good. Still looks pretty good. So I'm just going to decimate until I don't want to really give up much uh, detail. I can kind of see. So I'm going to stop there. So you have to weigh uh, the size of your the size of the mesh to, um, you know, what you want. I might have to do those again. I don't know if I like these. I don't know if I like those eyelashes. Anyway, so let's do the pupils. They're 12.2K and there's no, they, they really don't need to be that high. So we're going to go back in here. Decimate, decimate, decimate. Mm, I can kind of see a little bit. I'll back up one. And I think that's pretty good. So we'll do the, the whites of the eyes too. So decimate, 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 decimate. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Still looks pretty good. And you, you basically just want to do that with all of your meshes. Because you can just save so much space and it really doesn't look much different. 143K. And I'm just looking at the details. And anytime I see something major with the details, like if I lose something, then I'll just back up one. And it's a constant battle because all this stuff, when you're modeling and texturing and remeshing, the number goes up really high. And it's easy to just kind of forget about it. But um, let's say, for instance, you do want to eventually bring stuff over to other applications like Blender, then it's great to... Wait, is the head attached? Oh, the head is attached. So those are already... I already worked on those. So let's see. These sneakers... I like these sneakers. They're cute. I think I might have already decimated all these. Yeah, these are really small. Oh, but those are separate. Uh, another thing that you want to do, like for example, these two, which are the same color. Well, maybe they are together. Okay, everything is together. Um, if you want to bring stuff over to another application, it's best to go through and just label everything and kind of get everything um, organized. Like for example, These two are the same color, so we'll join those. I don't know what that is. What is that? Uh, let me get rid of this backdrop. I hate when you can't, even if you make something invisible, you can't click through it. Annoying. So I don't know what 
this is or is supposed to be, but I feel like it should be, I guess it can be blue. So these and these are the same color. And let's make that sphere the same color too. And we can match the color or we can change it in the other app, but for now we'll just match it. We'll just do shoe A, so this will be like color A. And then I think that's like the strap. And it's kind of annoying now, but it's not annoying when I'm in the other application or something and you can't see anything. So this is the tongue. So the tongue is gray. I kind of like the tongue gray, so I'm going to leave it. this so we'll join these two so this would be tongue and this will be shoe bottom I should I gotta name it shoe something because I know I'll forget I'll be like it doesn't have a tongue Okay, good. Um, one thing that's kind of annoying, let me get rid of these cameras and the lights. You don't have to do all this, but um, yeah, I'm just taking all that out because actually you don't really have to watch anymore unless you're interested on in this going into Blender because I'm probably gonna make a, I might make a video just lighting this in Blender and doing a turntable or something because um, it'll make it look really good. Strap. So the other, the other annoying thing is, um, let's see if I can validate an un instant. Um, do I want to omit instance or keep instances? If I do yes, okay. Can I just join them? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. So now everything is proper, I think. So this is much better than, I mean, it's not the smallest mesh. It's, it's 89.6K, but it's a long way from where we came from and it pretty much just looks the same. So uh, decimation is very useful. I think I might redo these ugly uh, eyelashes before I bring it over into the other, other application. I don't know if I'll record it or not, but I'll show you the render either way. All right, keep trying, keep sculpting. I'll see you all.